In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an EMP step-by-step -step tutorial. While you are making this, you are putting yourself at risk for potential electric shock. And if you are on a pacemaker, I do not recommend that you build this. The stuff to build the EMP are shown right here and the description below. And you will also need a tube or circular object with a diameter of 2 inches or about 5 centimeters. You might want some alligator clips, multimeter, and a battery pack. Make sure the film is all used up, then start taking apart the camera. Use a tool with an insulating end to discharge the capacitor to avoid electric shock. Like that. Remember which terminals are positive and negative. Inserting the power supply through the wrong terminals can damage the circuit and you might have to go buy another disposable camera. Let's take a look at a basic schematic diagram of a disposable camera. This schematic diagram and the circuit are not equal. This is just for demonstration. What we will be doing is adding on to the terminals of the capacitor by adding a switch, some wires, and the coil. So really everything on this side of the circuit we do not need because it does not charge the main 330 volt capacitor. Right here I will be adding the push button. This push button is optional but the reason why I'm putting it is because it's safer and to avoid electric shock. Now we will be looking at the high voltage capacitor in the circuit. The markings on this side means that the terminal on this side is negative, so you can assume that the other terminal is positive. Next is to take some wire, cut it to your desirable length, strip it, and solder it to one of the two terminals of the capacitor. Take the wire that you solder to the capacitor and attach it or solder it to the off side of the switch. Take your circular object with a diameter of 2 inches or 5 centimeters and put tape with the sticky side facing outward and wrap it all the way around till it overlaps. Next, take your enamel coated wire and wrap it around your 2 inch or 5 centimeter object 7 to 15 times. The thicker the wire, the better. Leave some wire sticking out to connect the terminals. Try to keep the wire in line with no creases or indentations or going over itself. Take your time and be precise. Put some tape over the wire you just wrapped. This will keep everything in its place. Carefully remove the enamel coated wire with the tape on it from the circular object. Cut the terminals of the coil to a desirable length. Not too short though. Use sandpaper to remove the enamel coating off the wire.
Attach one wire from the coil to the other terminal of the capacitor and the other wire of the coil to the on side of the switch. Check to see if the circuit is working correctly by pressing down on the push button. You should hear the high pitched sound and the LED light up. Now it is time to test your EMP with an electronic device. Use a handheld video game for the best results. Do not hold down the charge button and fire the pulse at the same time. You will damage the circuit. Experiment with different capacitor values and different gauge wires for different results. For a stronger and more powerful EMP, wire some more capacitors together in parallel form, not series. Have fun making your EMP. If you have any questions regarding how to make an EMP or regarding this video, please leave them in the comments below.